everybody, my name is Taylor and I'm a former youth counselor at A&M United Methodist Church and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some origami animals. But first, first I have a secret. Can I tell you guys a secret? Awesome. I don't know about for you, but for me, the last couple of weeks have been really different and really scary sometimes. Right? Everything that I do has changed. Now I have to work from home. I can't go out and see my friends or family anymore. The grocery store is always packed. I haven't been able to see any of my friends or go to birthday parties. I work at a school and I didn't get to tell my students goodbye this year. Just the last couple of months have been really weird. And another thing that we can't do right now is go to church together, right? Everything has moved online and so many things are different. And I don't know about for you, but for me, sometimes I have thoughts and feelings that are really big and really scary. And sometimes the worst part is they go around in my head so fast like a race car that it's hard for me to focus. Sometimes I get so caught up in how things are different and how much I feel scared that I forget to look for God around me. So how about you guys? Do you guys ever have thoughts or feelings that are so big and scary you don't know what to do with it? Exactly. I just want you guys to know that you're not alone and there's a lot of us who have had really big scary thoughts and feelings lately. So I want to share with you guys a couple of things that I like to do to relax and to remember that God is in control. The first thing is I take a big deep breath and just try and relax. And the second thing that comes to mind is one of my favorite passages in the Gospels. It comes from the Gospel of John. It's John chapter 14. And in this chapter, Jesus is talking to the disciples. And the disciples are scared because Jesus is talking about leaving them and going away. And in its place, the Holy Spirit will be there. And the disciples, they don't really know what to do about that. They feel scared because it's different. It's not what they're used to. They are, they're afraid they're not going to know how to how to be around or how to look for Jesus if they can't physically see him. And so the verse that I want to share with you guys today is John chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. So Jesus is a God of peace. And even in the midst of this really different and scary time, and even though we have these really big thoughts and scary feelings that Jesus is still in control and Jesus is a God of peace. And the last thing that I've tried to do is I've had to come up, come up with new ways to have fun. Sometimes we're stuck in the house all day and it can get really boring. So I have tried to do a couple of different things. And one of my favorite places to visit in the whole world that I can't go to right now is the zoo. I absolutely love the zoo and my favorite animal is a penguin. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make an origami penguin. And you're gonna need a few supplies, not too many. You're gonna want a black colored pencil or marker, a pair of scissors, a ruler, and then a blank piece of computer paper. So in the video that follows, I will be using a pre-cut piece of paper that I've already colored to help uh, to show the folds a little bit easier for you guys who are watching. But the piece of paper I'm using is a six inch by six inch perfect square. So this piece of paper is perfect, a computer paper is perfect, but you are gonna wanna cut it into a perfect square. You guys feel free to pause, rewind, watch the instructions as many times as you need to. And at the very end, you'll have your very own penguin.